with the US recently showing signs of recovery, what are the nation's prospects in 2013? With us now at the Asian Investment Conference is Glenn Hubbard, Dean at the Columbia Business School and former Chairman for the White House Council of Economic Advisers under George W. Bush. So Glenn, as the first quarter draws to a close, what's the outlook? Well, I think for the U.S. economy, we could grow in the 2% range uh, this year, but there are real upside potentials. You know, in housing, in autos, credit is starting to become uh, more available. The downside risks are policy. You know, can the president and the Congress work together? So there's upside and downside. Do you think they will be able to work together? You know, I just don't know. Uh, the president has talked about the problems of the recent spending cuts for the economy, but of course the tax increases that we've already had are far more of a headwind, particularly in 2013 and in 2014. So I, I think it's tough for the two sides to come together. The president also said that the spending cuts that came into effect on March the 1st could amount to a slow grind on the economy. Just how much will it affect the economy this year? Well, it depends on your estimates, but probably between three-tenths and six-tenths of a percentage point. But the effect of the tax increases is more than twice that large. So again, it's a little odd the president is focusing on one and not the other. And how will this impact businesses and jobs, the people of America? Well, I think it depends on uncertainty. If businesses actually think Washington will have a deal on spending and taxes, I think we could actually see an investment boom and a real increase in confidence. But it requires both sides giving up something to get to a deal. And what about the impacts of it further afield in Asia or in Europe? Well, certainly anything that slows down the U.S. will have a global effect. Interestingly, around the world, much of the uncertainty business people face is coming from policy. We see it in the European situation, we're seeing it in Japan, seeing it in the United States. A lot of people are predicting that the China economy might surpass the U.S. economy soon. What's your take on that? Well, China is, of course, growing much more rapidly than the United States from a smaller base. The question is not so much whether China's aggregate GDP passes the U.S., but when its per capita GDP does, and that's way, way in the future. But it's in all of our interest to see a healthy, growing China. Thanks, Glenn. For more insights from thought leaders, check out the Asian Investment Conference website.